Hello everyone, we're back with more fun of Fantasy 14. Still working our way through Heaven Sword. it is day 7. Just a while. You know, just, just a little bit. Just, just a wee bit, yeah. Shall we be on our way to Annex Trine? I would not have the dragons think we have forgotten our bargain. Right, I completely had forgotten where we left off. That helps, Alphano, thank you. <laughs> so how have your last two, three weeks been? Um, they've been okay. Rook's been going as smoothly as usual. Uh, Carolyn's starting a... Well, she actually just finished training for a day job. Um, I got my new insurance policy for the car in the mail, and I'm all sad, but, you know... Sad uh, because it's that. more expensive than the last one? It's it's definitely cheaper than the last one, but it's still, like, really, really high, and I went to a bunch of places to see if I can get it lower, and uh, they're all like, oh, no, that's that's incredibly low. We can offer you much more than that, though, if you want. I'm like, that's not, that's not what I want. Uh, the worst part is I could, I could picture that conversation happening like that. <laughs> well, we can offer you more. No, no, no. That's stupid. Why would you even bring that to the table? Uh, car insurance. <laughs> I think that just goes for any insurance, right? <laughs> I mean, my tenant insurance isn't that expensive. Your what? Oh, uh, tenant insurance. Car. Yeah. Yeah. All right, what do you have to say, dragon? Thou art returned, little one. Hast thou abandoned thine ill-conceived contest with the Nath? No, we beat him. Beat that fucker. Aye, my friend. We return in triumph. I bex his hand. The beastman's god lays low. It is overconfidence. The primal swore to withdraw his followers from your lands in the event of defeat. Promise we believe he will keep. The Nath shall trouble you no longer. The deity is slain? Eh, not exactly. Right? We didn't exactly kill it. We tickled it till it fell over. <laughs> stop! Stop! I'm in stitches! <laughs> the altar from which you begin your ascent to the summit of Solm Al. Fair warning. The minions of Nidhogg shall not lightly suffer your presence. By your struggles within the cavern shall I judge your party possessed of sufficient fortitude to proceed. So basically, yeah, I'll let you in, but everybody's going to kick at you. <laughs> sure. Yeah, essentially, he's the bouncer. And he's like, all right, there's a really rowdy crowd in there, though, so wear a helmet. <laughs> oh, now, now we do get to, well, if there's any dungeon or anything, I will get a chance to test my new setup. Change the hotkeys around. And I actually established the proper bar. I did it for Dragoon, but I didn't actually do it for Dark Knight just yet. Well, I'm glad we're, we're out of that, because that was really glitchy. It looked like you were flying around the inside of the tower, not up the stairwell, that entire time. Huh. That's weird. Yeah. Oh, we do have a dungeon that we're about to do. Cool. I get to test. And then if this test goes well... I will make sure to configure the Dark Knight to fit within this and then do some. we'll be able to do some practice with it. I'm still hesitant to want to take the Dark Knight into like dungeons and raids and stuff and be sc 
skull scolded out of existence by people who don't appreciate how bad I am at, at being a tank, but... I'm certain it'll be fine. Tanking isn't exactly hard. I was nervous at first, but that goes away after a couple, a couple dungeons. I think I turned down the in-game sound when I was messing around with the settings and I forgot to turn them back up. Maybe. Well done, little one. As promised, I shall open the way to some all, the summit for the Indi companions. What is this dragon magic? Oh, no, no, don't cut, don't skip the cutscene. Heed me now, children of man. I, I, I have to argue against that because I don't think there's an actual man among us. There's, you're, you're a cat person. There's an elf, a, a tiny elf, and then me, a, wait, aren't I a dragon person? <laughs> Yes, yes you are. There's no humans among us. How dare. It's close enough. <laughs> you all look the same to me. That's racist. To my kin, I mean... this mountain is revered as holy ground and resting place both. Where you the minions of Nidhogg during your ascent, for tis certain they shall take great offense to your intrusion. What were you going to say? You're muted. Sorry, what's up? <laughs> I said, what were you going to say? <laughs> oh, just, it, well, you know, with it being a dragon, it could probably not tell the difference between all of us. That... Mr. Sats. Mr. Who? Uh, Satsuri, Roger. Oh. Roger's working. This is his last night having to work late. He should be able to show to up next week. Ooh, that is exciting. Yeah. He, t he talked to uh, one of the managers today about staying on Tuesday to Saturday, though. So on Saturday, he's going to be working 10 to 7, same as me. Oh. Hey. We are grateful for your warnings, gentle Vidofnir. My final words are for thee, Dragoon. Have care to keep the stolen power thou wieldest in check, lest it breed further despair. I forgot we had the Dragoon with us. I thought they were yep. talking to me as my class specifically. <laughs> Stinian. The way is open. Let us not tarry here. A moment. Shall we blindly forge on, knowing the dangers that await us? Teoman herself is said to guard this peak. Teoman? I think it's supposed to be like Tiamat, but different slightly. Since I didn't, didn't we actually face a Tiamat? Or... Am I crazy? Do not fear Nidhogg's consort. Any dragon foolish enough to bar our path shall feel the sting of my lance. Inner probes. 
<laughs> just walk up there, the first dragon, you just hear, wah, wah, wah. Ooh, baby. Oh, God, no! Estinian, why? They just saw uh, run away. <laughs> He's the Pepe Le Pew of Final Fantasy. <laughs> Just starts bounding after the dragons. <laughs> Spoken like a true butcher. Need I remind you that we come to parlay? Let us be clear, heretic. Twas to save Ishgard and her people that I first lent my support to this doubtful venture. Tis for the sake that I go now to speak with Hrisvelger. But I said nothing of Tiaman. Should the opportunity present itself to rid my people of one of their deadliest enemies, I shall take it. That is my duty as Azure Dragoon. You are beyond redemption. We will accomplish nothing by bickering. If we are to meet with Hresvelgar, our path leads up the mountain. We shall defend ourselves if attacked, but avoid conflict where possible. What other choice do we have? Try and snake some ladders. What? what? Like, we meet a dragon and we just pull out the board and go, roll first, whoever's highest starts. Precisely. I mean, that's my plan. <laughs> and this is the entrance to the dungeon. So Som All is a dungeon. Yes. All right. So I don't know if you saw, but finished Far Cry 4 this week, so I started Final Fantasy 1 on Wednesday. And holy crap, is the difficulty curve intense. Like, is it really easy in Final Fantasy 1? No, it's the opposite. I have a feeling, I don't, I don't know if you watched my East 1 playthrough... But I have a feeling that Final Fantasy 1 is going to be very similar to that, where if I'm one level below the recommended level that the game was built to, to cater to, it's going to be nigh impossible. And if I'm at the level that the game expects me to be at, it's going to be doable or easy. Because uh, I was level 2 going into the first dungeon that you go to. And I got half of my party wiped out by a ghoul. One singular ghoul. One shot. Two members of my party. I was not expecting that. Every D&D campaign. Yeah. <laughs> there were two rats in front of you. I hit the tree. Okay, the tree's on fire. Everyone takes some fire damage as it falls upon them. <laughs> Why are we like this? So, I took half of my party back to town because there were no Phoenix Downs to revive myself. Yep. And it's 40 gold to revive one character at a church. And the church will revive the character with one HP. So you have to spend 40 gil for the character and then either 60 gil per potion or rest at the inn for another 30 gold. So at bare minimum, it's 70 gold in order to bring a character back at full health. That's impressive. Yeah. yeah I, thought, I thought it was gold was going to be nothing because all of the weapons are like 5 and 10 in the first town. And the armor was like 15 to 20 in the first town. And then I go into the item shop and it's $60 for a potion. 
Oh, oh, okay. There's some wild inaccuracies in pricing here. I struggled my way after I beat the first dungeon to the second town where I'm supposed to go next. Lost two members of my party again. And when I went into the church there in order to revive my party, it was even more expensive at the second town to heal, to bring your party back. Oh, oh for fuck's sake. That's fair. So I, I had to grind after I finished streaming so that I was, so that I will be ready next time I stream. And it was the first episode of streaming. I, that's never happened before. Old-fashioned JRPGs. Yeah, I, I, I realized my expectations were along newer RPGs, newer Final Fantasies, where things are very I, casual starting because, out. Because it's like, people will post, like, Octopath Traveler is so incredibly easy, and it's all like, I struggle, and there's like 30 levels in between every quest. Like, like why is there such a difference? And it's all like, but then, like, Final Fantasy One comes along, and it's all like, aww. You're fighting a level one ghoul. It takes 50 HP from you. I only have six. Yeah, well, it took 50. So, yeah. Do the math. That's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the way of it. I did struggle with some sections of Octopath Traveler, for sure. Oh. But to a JRPG, that's an easy one. Apparently, I have mail waiting for me. That being said, it is. I am enjoying it so far. That's good. It's, it's definitely where Final Fantasy XIV got the inspiration for the way that the jobs work. They use the regular. They do they use the uh, four eight uh, the uh, five eight hours or the uh, four ten hours. What? <laughs> That is not what I meant. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, so you know, I start as Lancer, and then at level 30, I get the token that levels you up to Dragoon. That's yep. where Final Fantasy... Uh, that It gets it from Final Fantasy 1. Because my party is a monk, a thief, a white mage, and a black mage. And at some point in the game, they will advance their skill to a white wizard, black wizard, ninja, and... Ooh, I forget what the monk turns into. Rock, paper, scissor enthusiast. <laughs> chess expert. The chess expert. Someone po someone had popped into the stream and was was asking me about it, and they're like, "You didn't pick a fighter," and the fighter becomes a knight. I was like, "No, I I, I don't really like the fighter types. I, I wanted to go with a monk. It seemed like fighter or monk were the kind of tanky characters." And they go, "Yeah, monks are a little bit squishier than the fighters, though." And I looked it up after, and yeah, apparently monks are not the greatest for defense. Which, which has proven true because my monk has died more than any other character in the party, including what I would expect to be the squishier white mage and black mage. That's what happens. Monks are secretly made of jello. Finally. Not that secretly, though. It's found out pretty quick. <laughs> I was also surprised to learn that the spells in Final Fantasy 1 are D&D &D style, where you have spell slots and you use them up and then you have to do a long rest at an inn in order to gain those spell slots back. So I basically have a white mage who can heal a bit and a black mage who is basically useless until level 3 from what I, or for, until he gets level 3 spells from what I read. Just like the original D&Ds. <laughs> yep. 
Uh, I forgot to check my sound while we were waiting. I'm a dumbass. I think it's okay. Game's a, game sounds a little quiet on the stream, but... Yeah, it's quiet because I... Wait, why isn't this working? Oh, wait, because it's not hard. There we go. Yeah, that'll do it. Okay. Struggling a little bit with remembering how my spells are laid out here. Oh, gosh. Ooh. 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 Oh, well. Wow, you went down quick. I used all my stuff. Like, all of it's on cooldown. But they didn't get a heal off on me before I uh, fell over dead. Oh, and I fell over dead. All right. Uh, uh, I was like, I didn't want to only pull like the one bird. I was like, I'll pull the next group because I'm certain we can handle it. And then the healer just didn't. All right. I'll, I can go slow. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Fine with that. Are you? <laughs> you don't. You don't sound okay with that. <laughs> uh, they don't have mana, but it should be fine. Now when they don't heal me, they'll have an excuse. Well, now, now you don't have any mana, so now I'm definitely not pulling. So used to going one two three that now that I'm trying to go tilled one two, I keep hitting three and messing up the combo. That's alt tilled alt one, and that's control tilled control one control two. Man, now that there's all these pollen clusters. Don't worry, I ate most of them for some reason. Thank goodness. <laughs> I'm doing all right with this. It's going to take some time to remember that my controls are different. Flying killer. What? Yeah, it'll take a while. What is that? Uh, oh, it's a bat. Okay, I couldn't. I couldn't actually see it. All I saw were plants. <laughs> this. Is... Yeah. So I've rebound for to tilt to five, and then F T G R as my other four. Do we have to knock out these pollen clusters, or is it just a good, the uh, like? way to keep them from blowing up on you and that's why you're doing it uh you want to kill the drake spur thingy like the big plant because it spawns the clusters and it's okay. the thing that has the vine wall thing keep wanting to take my hand off the keyboard to push the other numbers that I no longer need. Yeah, it takes a little bit of getting used to. I'm sure it'll be worth it in the end when I keep when I can keep both hands on the keyboard instead of having to remove one from the mouse all the time. Can you fucking click on the enemies that are in front of you, you stupid? Everyone's getting stacks. Let's over here. Hmm. Goodness.
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Don't die. I, I don't think I'm gonna die. I think everyone else is gonna... <laughs> Everyone's got four stacks of poison. Oh. I did not notice. <laughs> the healer isn't cleansing them because they have to heal because the, <laughs> the drain's too fast. <laughs> oh. Gonna wait for these to. All right, all right. Is the is the poison stacks being applied by these pollen clusters or something else? Yeah, yeah it was the pollen clusters. If you stand okay. too close to them, you get them on you. And you guys were all stacked, so four popped, and you guys all gone. <laughs> okay, I I didn't notice that. It's okay. No one else did either. <laughs> That's why I was avoiding them. <laughs> all right. Uh, I think I remember how the boss goes, but not enough to actually tell you what to do. <laughs> I remember the acid rain that causes pools to pop up. So, ooh, it's cold. Ah, I still got like, hit by it. I feel like I got hit by two. F. Ooh, oh god, get out of there! Oh, I'm gonna get hit by that too. Ow. Uh, sweet time. I think this spawns ads that we gotta kill. That would make sense. If I know yeah. Pokemon. <laughs> Stop <Yeah>. it! <laughs> Keep instinctively trying to pull my hand off the mouse in order to attack with my jumps. It takes a while to get used to. Why can't my brain just reprogram itself instantly? Damn it! Get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. Oh, I'm gonna get hit by that, aren't I? Nope, I didn't. Good. What is it? F, there we go. T is the throw. Oh, I killed it. Nope, 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 nope. nope. What's my back jump? It's Alt T, there we go. Alt T is my back jump, my back flip. Oh, it's doing sweet sign again. Damn it, they just got real little hornets. Anything nice. Ah, pulled me in. Alt T, get out of there. Ah, oh, it's gonna hit me, isn't it? No, oh, no, it didn't. What happens when the hornets get close? Is he feeding on them? I think that's what he's doing. I think he's eating them. Well, four, right? No! No, that wasn't mine! Alt T! Run! Run! Oh no! My it was on cooldown! Ah, I'm being eaten! I've been eaten. Symmetry now. <laughs> it only lasts for like 15 seconds. We're not even going to get to another fight before it fades. What is symmetry? Uh, it's actually, sorry, it's sinistry. It's, yeah. Uh, every single time you cast a spell on a different target other than the person you have sinistry on, it also applies the spell onto that target. Oh, okay. So, so you're, like, you, you symmetry makes hand. sense. Yeah. You throw one on a target, and it makes you not have to worry about them anymore. But they they did it at the end of the fight, when I had full <laughs> HP. They're trying, damn it. <laughs> Wait, they must not be learning, because that looks like level 80 here. Oh, no, no, that's level 50 here. Okay, yeah, they're probably like level 50, 60-something. I hope they don't expect me to be pulling level 70 style weight, because I'm not quite there yet. <laughs> oh, I avoid the fireballs that the big one drops. And the oh, fire is that what there. that was? Okay. Oh god, I did it. Again! <laughs> Just 
I'm gonna have to ask you to stop doing that on my targets. You ask too much. <laughs> well, he'll stop now because he's down here. Oh, I, yeah, I started. I started to jump, and then it canceled out because he went back up, and it said invalid target. I was like, "What do you mean invalid target? He's right there." I keep forgetting that. A Wood Sky Warriors Bengal has been at. Why? I I hit pass on those. Control T, no, it's control three for that. I'm just spamming the same ability over and over and over. <laughs> and... Ooh! <laughs> I, I don't think I can fly off the edge if I backflip, but it looked like I was about to. Luckily not in... Uh, not in this place. In some bosses you can, though. Like, if there's... Uh, most trials, they don't have an edge. So if you hop over, you just fly to your deck. Oh, I'm, I'm fighting these. What am I supposed to be doing? Oh, wait. No, that is exactly what we're supposed to be doing. I forgot about the T-Rex. What? Ooh. T-Rex. Oh, we got to pull to the next pole. But like, wait, that's a boss. It's current. <laughs> pull into the boss. Oh, that sounds like a terrible idea. Now, I remember this one has something to do with something or other, so yeah, just a Ah, quick. that's very helpful, yes. <laughs> it's been so long. <laughs> wanted to share. <laughs> Dare you share the load. <coughs> Where did that slug come from? Should I be getting rid of the slugs? If I can fucking attack the one that's right next to me. Jesus. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think. Never mind. Too late. What was I supposed to wait for? Yeah, it was. It was, it was what? Uh, the red ones, when he eats them, you gotta make him run away. You, like, if he targets you with it, you gotta run away from him. Uh, we do have to kill the green one. Is the green one like the one that will heal him or something? I don't remember. Remember it's bad. Control three. Control three. Jeez, he just jumped. What's this? What do I have on me? I'm being targeted by something. Oh, the healer's dead. Oh, 
No, well, not quite. Not quite. My turn. My turn. Oh, it's the healer again. Well, that healer better heal up quick. So what is that? When he eats the blood, he doesn't attack. The red ones do a whole lot of damage, little fireballs. The oh, blue okay. ones do smaller fireballs that don't do as much damage. And then the green He's ones do something dead. else. Okay. I assume you know. the green ones did something, do something really bad, and that's why... Yeah, I remember being told that I, we had to get rid of it, like, long, long ago, and I, I never questioned it. Ah, oh, yes, we're at the betrayal. Oh, we're in, uh, we're in Jurassic Park. Na, 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 na. Oh, wait, that's probably copyrighted on top there. Okay, probably, I mean, almost assuredly. Considering there's a copyright warning whenever you boot up uh, Jurassic World Evolution. Is there? Yes. If you, t if you turn off copyright music, you do not get the Jurassic Park fame. Other than when you open the game, so you have to, like... If you're going to stream it, you have to launch it outside of the stream. Um, so that you can enable the no copyright music thing yeah but like even if you like even if you enable it and then like launch it later it still starts it with the song and then it dies out as it gets to the main menu because then it remembers oh okay you have to like always launch it outside of stream otherwise uh yeah although i guess you could just mute all music because like it says mute copyrighted music and i turn i hit that checkbox and i have not heard any music since so, <laughs> it just, it's like, well, to be safe, we'll turn it all off. Yeah, I don't think there is any non copyright music, so I could have just mounted it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can you not see it? Well, I see that one, but there's nothing <laughs> else. Crave <laughs> Mole. There they are. What? Ergo dragon. Oh, I've been looking for a new chair. Oh shit. Most ergonomic of all Oh shit. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sakes, why does everything have to try and kill me? You're the warrior of light. Everything has to kill you. Oh, it's dead. Oh my gosh, can I stop? No. Apparently, my mouse is not locked to, this, to the game, so I've clicked out of the fucking screen like three times in this dungeon. Oh, is this all three of the dragons that we've fought up the mountain that are all attacking us now at once? Yep. But well, we hadn't fought the Ergo Dragon, but him being the most ergonomic did result in him being like the most, like, the strongest. <laughs> but the other two were wounded because, uh. Because we kicked their asses earlier. The keyboards. <laughs> I'm feeling that right now. The tilled key is in a kind of awkward position. I thought it would be a good idea, but I'm, I'm worried it might be a little too carpal tunnel y. <laughs> So what's going to happen in this last area here? Tiamon. Oh, okay. It's a Digimon. <laughs> oh, it's Black Skull Greymon. Okay. It actually looks pretty close to, to Skull Greymon. Uh, at some point in the fight, uh, you can attack its wings. Like, they'll start being targetable. When that happens, kill the wings. It's like okay. near the midpoint. Kill the wings! Any other big things that I should be looking out for? Uh, that. Like that? <laughs> what the hell was that? It was a shiny ability. It did a bunch of, uh, making a lot of lasers, but nothing really happened if you dodge them all. I got hit by a comet, so I technically dodged the lasers. 
Yeah, you summon circles. Yeah. I've got a green ball above my head. Yeah, you're gonna have another combat drop on me. I see. You just gotta run over here. That's safe. Ow! Ooh. I didn't know that. Now did the other guy. I oh, didn't die, did though. Healer. Oh, God. I'm the only one with actual HP. Woo! <laughs> And by that, I mean I have very little HP. Just pop that. And I'll pop this one too. It's okay, I've got abilities that can heal me up a bit. Since the healer. I'm doing Comet again, so this should be green dots. Yep, I got a green dot. So where am I going once it comes up? It's as far away from both where yours land and his land at the same time. So like way over here. Okay. Oh, oh, the wings. Ow. Oh my goodness. He's definitely got a big, pretty big light show going on. Mm hmm. Okay. Attacking the right wing of injury. What? Right wing of injury. The left wing of tragedy, so. Okay, the wings are down. Right? Yes, both the wings are down, so he stops doing that all that meteor nonsense. Good. I mean they missed a chance of having the left wing of tragedy and the right wing of comedy, but you know. Yeah, that would have been better. Woo! Oh no! I'm gonna get hit by a ow! Hit by a comet again. It's the theater dragon. <laughs> Not the theater dragon. The comedy of errors dragon. Uh, he's doing comet again, so he's gonna put two, or two of the comets on you guys. Okay. Oh, three this time. Okay. Um. Me too. Ow. All of my heels are on cooldown, so I am very little dark star. What's that? Oof. Okay. What's this blue circle? Alright, someone's casting the LB. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the only one that I'm kind of worried about right now. I put it on Control G, and I almost hit it earlier in the fight because I was trying to hit another Control function. Might have to consider making that harder to hit. Maybe. I have it on the slash. So that's a like a backslash. It's right above the end tricky. That way, I have to think about pressing it. Although, definitely near the end of that, I was starting to feel better about the the control layout. I did not take my hand off the mouse for the last of that fight, so... Starting to make progress. <laughs> I think if I just move the mouse a little, or the microphone just a touch so that my hand doesn't have to awkwardly twist around it. Did we already kill a dragon? You just killed Pyomon. Yeah, but I've got the cutscene. I'm getting a second crystal lit up. Yeah, Pyomon. What was the first crystal? I don't remember. <laughs> was it Midsummer? Like Midsummer's Night Dream? No, like the little dragon that I've got following me around. I feel like we lit all the crystals in the first expansion, and then they were like, we're going to do it again. But yeah, like... that's a, that, I was like, wait, did we only have one from the first one? No, I swore we had all of them lit up before. 
Yeah, I don't know what we're, how we're lighting him up this time, in all honesty. He's going to kill six dragons over the course of Heaven Sword and relight them all. And then what? In Stormblood, we'll have to fight six knights and have to relight them all. I don't know what Stormblood's plot is. I'm looking at. I'm thinking of like the picture that's associated with it. Yes, we have to try and avoid being put to bed six times. No night time. <laughs> I'm never going to bed. I wanna. I am the box ghost. I've never, I've never watched Danny Phantom. Uh, Alicia started watching it, or asked me to get it for her so she could rewatch it. So I've watched a couple episodes now, and I, I heard the box ghost, and it's probably my favorite character that I've seen so far. It is a really good character. Also, yeah. because like as soon as I heard the voice, I went, oh, "It's Rob Paulson." I know Carl's voice anywhere. <laughs> I am the bot's ghost. I am that's, the ghost that, That's what Carl did when he grew up. He became a box manufacturer, and then when he died, he came back as the box ghost. Jimmy Neutron, Danny Phantom, they are in a shared universe. The real secret of what is what is inside all those boxes. Quasons! <laughs> <laughs> We know the truth. <laughs> uh, it seem Tiaman was the last. I sensed no other dragons nearby. Is Estinian supposed to be a man or a woman? Wait, no, we've heard... We, it's a he. We've heard his voice, right? I'm pretty sure Estinian's a dude. I just... They they showed up the front and it look, It has a... Estinian has a very rounded, soft jaw, which stereotypically on NPCs tends to be a female characteristic, so. He is an elf. I think that's why they all have, like, more feminine features. That's why I want to be an elf. Why'd you make yourself a, a dragon girl, then? I mean in real life. I don't mean in oh, game. Oh. <laughs> Put you in game, and I was like, "Well, they have potions for that, but you've used them." Like, <laughs> I could buy more. I mean, I could tell you not to, but that would be a uh, pretty hypocritical of me. <laughs> I was gonna say, <laughs> how many do you still have? Uh, I think I'm all out. Oh, okay. <laughs> what is happening? Oh no, he's having heart palpitations. You dog, he roars. He knows we are here then. His fury, it bleeds through the eye. Well then why did you bring it, you moron? Fear not, I am yet my own master. Is it's that a concern? I love the taste of cinnamon toast crunch. <laughs> what? <laughs> you asked why he brought the eye, and it's <coughs> it's because only the eye knows that why kids love the taste of cinnamon toast crunch. All those hard to answer, pressing questions we knew as a child. Yeah. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a tootsie pop? These are secrets that he can't let fall into the hands of the enemy. <laughs> But the damned worm's wrath burns hotter than flame. Come, the heart of the dragon's homeland yet lies before us. Is Ysail supposed to be a blue mage? I don't think so. Okay. She's wearing blue. Thus do we add another link to the chain of vengeance. Oh, Saint Shiva, when will it end? When will it end? What is it all for? Thursday? Yeah. 
<laughs> It'll end next Thursday, and the reason for all of this is just um, could be seen a string of for the, the freshest box of uh, oh shit! I was damn it. <laughs> I, it. I was trying to think of a stupid uh, that cereal with all the uh, Lucky Charms. That's what it was. <laughs> I was. Trying to remember the stupid name of the cereal that all all the yeah. Four oh four brain nut found. I mean, we could be after a box of tricks. However, we must remember that tricks are for kids. <laughs> it's true. That poor rabbit. The kids didn't know is that he is a special breed that can only eat tricks, otherwise he dies. It starved to death long ago. <laughs> We have reached it at last, the peak of Som Al. It is said to be the highest mountain in all of Eorzea. I thought it cold in Corthus, but the air here carries a chill of a dozen winters. I don't believe you. There are sunflower or not sunflowers, uh, dandelions everywhere. They don't bloom in the summer or in the winter. the clouds. Alfino ponders the means by which you might find Resvelger. <laughs> I got a trick. I learned it in a previous final, previous final Fantasy. We're just going to run around to all the people and dragons around here and we're going to spread propaganda until he shows himself. Why does Moogle have a pink light? What manner of creature is that? Wait, I thought only the warriors of light could see Moogles. Uh, anyone who... Uh, it, it's not... It's difficult to, like... <laughs> anyone who... <sighs> Yeah, like, depending on how the story goes, it's not just the Warriors of Light, it's anyone who has the, uh, uh, either A, has the ability to remember that I, the Echo, that's the thing, or has been blessed by either A, another Moogle, or B, some wood spirit that does it. Okay. That was, that was not... There were no extra stipulations when the mo first Moogle told me this in the beginning of, of A Realm Reborn, but okay. Uh, yeah, in the beginning of Final Fantasy XIV, you run into Ida and Papalimo, who are following one, and they explain it all of to how it works. I only know this because I watched the old cutscenes. <laughs> Do I, my eyes deceive me, or was that a Moogle? I thought I glamoured my outfit to not look like this, but apparently I didn't. It was my understanding that on they only dwelled, with dwelled within the Twelves Wood. Certainly never expected to see one in the churning mists. If the Mughal does live here, he may know where Hrasvelgar's lair is. Let's not lose the creature completely. Am I crazy? Did I not glamour my shit? Did you glamour it with, like, Dark Knight armor when it's now gone? No. When did I get this wind-up alpha note? What do you mean? He's, uh, he's the quest. 
Oh, did I? Did we just all the time? He's just really short. No. <laughs> ah, Uh, character. Hmm. Oh wait, I think you glamoured your old armor, but the, ever since you bought the upgrade, you've been having that armor. Yeah, what did I... What, what was I... Glamoring everything to look like. Um, I think it was the Ashen Mail or whatever. Ashen Mail. It's the blue one that's not uh, the Draken Mail. Worms Mail? Uh, the other one. Astrum Mail? That's it. Like, sorry, I can only barely read it because it's very small. On, uh, the stream is very small on my side. Uh, yep, yeah, that's what it is. As soon as I tried it on. <laughs> uh, on that glamour menu, you can, uh, once it's done with one selection, you can hit the gloves on the left hand side and glamour the next thing instead of closing and opening it every time. Okay. It took me months to learn that. <laughs> Wait, you can glamour the weapons too? Yes. Huh. You can glamour oh. everything. You can't die every piece of armor, but you can... Uh... No, no, not try on glamour. Don't think I care to glamour the. Although, the Liberator does match my. Hmm. And this kind of does too, though, doesn't it? Zoom all the way in to look at my character. Not quite the same color, but it's close. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. What the f are you riding? <laughs> the hell is this? What? What is this? It's a mount. <laughs> Thank it's you. It's called a what? It's called a gobwalker. Gobwalker. I mean, I could, uh, I could use something else if you prefer. Did you, did you find the Moogle, Alphino? I know I, I took a minute. Bah! The Moogle's gone. We must widen our search. I don't see any... <laughs> Harry Potter! Dumbledore calmly approached Harry and asked, Harry Potter, did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? <laughs> Etheric Disturbance. We're going to have to fight something here, or what? What are these concealing magics? What do I have to do here? Do I just... Oh, do I just have to go to... See, we know there's something here, possibly Moogle-related, <laughs> but they're hiding. 
That is too relaxed a position for you to be sitting in that chair with. It looks like you're taking a dump on the chair. Right? Like, almost not a single race has a, like, normal sitting position in this chair. It irks me so much. <laughs> My only problem with this mount is you go this way. <laughs> forward. This should be backward. This should be forward. Uh, you can't see regardless of direction, so what does it matter? Unless it's slightly tipped forward so that you could see, then I would I would say that it's acceptable. I mean, I have other mounts. Like a turtle. It's, it's an adamant toys, right? Yeah. Now, I'm, I'm going to warn you, you've probably never seen one fly before, uh, and that's probably a good thing. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm gonna be sick! Wee. You land, you have to try and walk a straight line, okay? <laughs> I've heard tales of these Moogles, but tis the first time I've ever laid eyes on one. They are rather adorable, aren't they? Yes, I would love to get a plush Moogle for the collection of plushies that we have. Why do you stare at me so? Can I not find a creature adorable? My heart is not truly made of ice. Yeah, I'm yet to be convinced. Where's destination number three? I see the one by Astinian. Oh, the other one's up here, okay. By the throne. Uh, Why are these comfy? Did he just fart? What was that? He sneezes. Why? I don't know. There is no sign of a moogle here. Thanks. Stinian? Midgard summer, not... Midsummer, sorry. I see, I see I no evidence. I'm. I mean, it's it's a it's a good place, I guess. It's fine. Okay, I meant you meant. I, I know you meant Midgard Summer. I see no evidence of this Moogle of yours. Not mine. I have a dragon. Moogles. Moogles seem to avoid dragons. So we searched all the Moogle locations. Now what? Now we go back to Alphano. Okay. Why Why does this thing look like Jar Jar Binks? Well, one day Jar Jar met a giraffe. <laughs> I'm sure I glimpsed the Moogle fleeing in this direction. Could they be concealing themselves with magic? You do not know that the Moogle is male. I I uh, I implore you. Stop using gendered language when you're not sure. It's ridiculous. That is... Okay, you've topped the spinning Adam and Toys. That has to be the most awkward way to travel. What does that look like when it flies? Uh-huh. It does it via sheer anger alone. <laughs> <laughs> why did the, some of these mounts there's no good reason for why that I can see is like 
why? I mean, uncomfortable for you, but just think of how uncomfortable that beast is. It's on its ass. True. Oh, it's Cheetor. Cool. Yeah, just stick with the fat chocobo. You will fly for cake. <laughs> Wait, do you actually switch? Yeah. Okay. It's Gisho Greens, and then I swoop him to the side and pull out a cake rod. <laughs> Well, I'm watching a cutscene, so I can't actually see that, but I did see the rod. I just didn't realize you pulled it out when it started flying. <laughs> Confound it! Could we but enlist the aid of one of the local Mughals, I am certain Hresvelger could not elude us for long. Though the eye enables me to sense the presence of dragons, I can only identify Nidhogg with any certainty. We could wander the mists for days and not know if we are any closer to his blood brother. And those are days we cannot well afford to squander. Shall we divide our forces then? We already did. You want to divide them more? Lady Isale, might I ask you to question any dragons whom you judge it safe to approach? Astinian, make yourself tiny. Go in my pocket with me on an adventure. I have not yet given up on the Mughals. Bex, come with me to Gridania. What? What? <laughs> hey, we're here in the land of the dragons. Let's leave. Ah, because we want to see the we want to see the Mughals. The After the business with Mughal Mog, I dare say they will be glad to help us. We're gonna go somewhere else and gather a Mughal to come back to hunt a Mughal. Yes. An Astinian is going to stay here and murder dragons while we do this, I assume. <laughs> Nidhogg senses both the loss of his consort and the coming of the eye, and his attention is firmly fixed in this direction. I mean to do what I can to hold his gaze in the hope that it might delay any action against Ishgard. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. <laughs> Come back, and there's just going to be rivers of blood running through this area. Astinian, what did you do? I drew Nidhogg's gaze. Got the crazy look in his eyes. Where's all the noodles? I drew their gaze. <laughs> he's, he's resting on a... That, that puff ball has been replaced with just a mound of Moogle corpses. <laughs> what did you do? The gaze. We were supposed to work with them. They were difficult to work. Are we learning that Astinian is just Anakin Skywalker? Soon you'll ask him about Sandy, like it's rough and coarse and hot. Not just the men, but the women and children too. Where's the aetherite crystal? Is it out here? Yeah, okay. Forgot to tune to it. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's know. a seesaw out here. It doesn't work. Well, the fucking good is it? <laughs> I mean, it was probably just too hard to program it, no work, but still. I mean, you say it doesn't work. I sat on it pretty convincingly. Okay, if it's on the floating side, then it becomes very unconvincing. I'm just lighter than air, okay? I'm like a whale lord. Where are we going? Oh, there's a teleport offer for me. Cool. Yep. And then use the giant aetherite crystal to go to the conjurer's... Uh, something. Guild? I think 
Lally ho! Yeah. Conqueror's Guild. <clears throat> Alfino. I sent word to the elder se seed seers upon arriving in Gridania. I am pleased to report that she agreed to grant us an audience. If anyone can help us to contact the Twelveswood Moogles, it is she. We are expected at the Lotus Stand. I trust you are familiar with the conjurer stationed at its entrance? No. Would you, who will give you any idea that I would have any relations with this conjurer? The silent conjurer. The elder saints here await you! They're not very quiet. I bid you welcome, friends. The Admiral spoke of having met with you, but tis no less of a relief to see you safe and hail with mine own eyes. We humbly thank you for agreeing to receive us on such short notice. For all you've done in our absence. Would that we were solely to express our gratitude that we came you to... to blah, 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 wow. Would that it were solely to express our gratitude that we have come here to you this day. Alas, the tides of battle yet dictate our comings and goings. We would beg your wisdom in a matter that may finally bring an end to the Dragon Song War. I'll be right back. Okay. Speak on, friend. <clears throat> control C, Control V. I see. So you seek a means to contact the Moogles of the Churning Mists. Cool. There's already a Moogle here. To what do we owe the pleasure of your company? I was struck by the sudden urge to bring you some fruit. I'm jolly glad I did. Tell me more about these moogles in the sky. I will glad you tell, gladly tell you all I know, though it amounts to precious little. We encountered a moogle high in the clouds of Dravania. Had hoped that, in, that you and your kin in the Twelves would might agree to facilitate a meeting. Pray correct me if I am mistaken, Kuplo, but there are legends, are there not, which speak of Mughals who dwelled beyond the clouds. Indeed there are. Long, long ago, back when the world was still young, they say my ancestors served the gods up in the heavens. Of course, that was before their masters took to bickering like spoiled children. Ah, yes, the tale of good King Mughal Mog the Twelfth. He is revered for holding fast to a rope of miraculous length that his subjects might climb down from the sky and escape to the world below. Jesus, that's a... That's a, a tale. <laughs> Ignoring the more fanciful aspects of the tale, it may well be that Kuplo's ancestors hailed from the churning mists. Given how long his kin have resided in the Twelveswood, it is perfectly possible the details of their history have faded into myth. Such stories oft contain a measure of truth. Yeah, no shit. Oh, fleeing second nature to us. We often hide when the larger races come tramping in our forest. Uh. <laughs> Which is why I've decided to take a trip to the clouds. They surely won't be afraid to talk to me. I was hoping you might say that, Master Kuplo. You will accompany us then? Just you try and stop me. I'll admit, the thought of venturing outside the Twelveswood is a bit unsettling, but I can hardly refuse a chance to meet my distant, distant cousins. If you will have me, I too will accompany you on this venture. Lend my voice to your cause as an ambassador of Gridania. 
Look how shocked everyone is. My lady, are you quite certain? How oft has our nation turned into the turned to the scions of the seventh dawn in its hour of need? How oft have we asked the warrior of light to risk her life to save our own? Full many times I say to you, and never have they refused us. Thus do I choose this day to offer mine aid to our allies for the good of the realm. Is this not just? A most unexpected and most welcome offer, Elder Seedsayer. We would be honored by your presence. Pray return to the summit and inform our companions of these developments. I will serve as the Elder Seed Sayer's guide on the journey back to Som Al. Being a path I have already trodden, I do not anticipate any great difficulties. Besides, we shall have the Elder Seed Seer's personal guard to escort us. Alright. I suppose I shall wait for, for this one's return. me with a palico and I was happy. Uh, I saw a quote from IGN saying it's the best video game movie ever created. Um, I don't know. I saw Street Fighter. <laughs> you beat me to a joke. <laughs> oh, shit. I was going to say, have they never seen Doom starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson? Okay, all kidding aside, have you seen Dune? I have seen Doom. I thought it was all right. Okay, I but had, they didn't I had not part. played a Doom game. I, I had not played a Doom game, though, so. The movie's a solid meh out of, uh, but, you know. Uh, they had that one scene near the end where the, like, the only good guy left is like alive, and he just grabs the gun, and he starts running down the hallway where they have like a body cam so it looks like an old it looks like the old doom game but like in the movie and that that scene honestly <laughs> that scene makes the movie sort of worth watching <laughs> <laughs> here we go oh back to back Malcolm. back to mog home I'm mostly curious because see it's I've... on Prime. However, you have to rent it on Prime. I don't think it's worth it. For something Monster that Hunter free. Yes. Okay. Because I yeah I keep I keep seeing it pop up as available in the PlayStation Store when I'm going to log into Netflix or Disney or YouTube. So I'm always seeing it. 
it's like the new Disney movie came out, Riot and the Last Dragon. It's on Disney Plus, but to rent it, you need to pay thirty dollars. Yeah, I'm probably gonna do that this weekend. Really? I did it with Mulan. I thought it was worth it. Riot, Ryan, the Last Dragon actually looks really good. See, it's just a bit too expensive. I so uh, with Mulan, I rented it, and Alicia and I watched it with her friend Emily. So there were three of us. If it had j been just for me, yeah, I would wait, or I would I would find a, a preview copy. <laughs> but like even. Even $10 a person is how much you'd spend going to the theaters on Tuesday. Yeah, and that's like, that's worth it. But you're not going to the theaters. Now, I will say, I feel like it's almost more worth not going to the theaters than it is going to the theater. Because, you know, you don't have to, you know, any form of social interaction <laughs> with random strangers, I guess I should say. I don't know how in the world theaters are going to survive after this, in all honesty. I... Why spend $15 and go there? Or I could spend, like, $15 per person, or I could spend $30 in total, rent it for three people, and not have to go outside. I, I You say that, but there's a lot of people that like to go out and be around others and experience things with others so i think that movie theaters are going to bounce back fairly well going i out think with others, i understand the problem is is going out with strangers because every single time i go to the movie i'm always at the end of the row which means i have someone i like to either the right or left of me and then a random person on the other side like all the time yeah that's that's true we never, I never had enough friends to just grab a row and then we didn't have to worry about it. Which sounds pretty disappointing. You start renting out an entire movie theater for just you. <laughs> yeah, that'll be worth it. Well met, Warrior of Light. Nidhogg has not stirred, but he watches, unblinking. Well, yeah, you stole his eye, not the eyelids. That's just cruel humor. Elder Seedseer herself answers your call, then there is not to do but wait. What about Ysail? Are we going to tell her? <laughs> they are here. Greetings, my friends. I am happy to report that our journey was m mercifully uneventful, devoid as the road was of Dravanians. It would seem the dragons have abandoned some all for the churning mists. Elder Seedseer, may I present to you Sir Estinian Ishgard's Azure Dragoon. Tis an honor to meet you, Sir Estinian. I have heard many tales of your order's extraordinary skill and courage. Friends, I feel it only right to inform you that we are not alone. The Mughals are all around us even as we speak. I should imagine they are more than a little concerned by the horde of strangers that have descended upon their home. <laughs> no, I'm sure it's fine. I mean, if I had six random people suddenly stirring about my living room, I wouldn't have any issues. This should serve. She's claiming the throne. <laughs> They're hiding, of course, but there are so many of them. I am Connie Senna. My companions and I have braved the long road of the Twelveswood to share words with you. On this, the occasion of our first meeting, we bring an offering of light and wind. Just gonna fart. <laughs> mm. 
the horn, that's the wind. The sound of a Koopo. Moglin, the chieftain of the Moogle clan. They all have pink orbs, it's so cute. Chieftain Moglin, it is an honor to meet you. Greetings, I am Kuplo Kop, ambassador of the Twelveswood Moogles. A Moogle from the world below? Your hide is of a different hue, but that palm is unmistakable. I might need a moment here. <laughs> My companions were no less surprised to learn of your existence here amongst the clouds. I hope they did not startle your overmuch, you overmuch in their eagerness to make your acquaintance. Full well can I imagine your wariness. Oh, I'll, I'll be right back. Okay. Mayhap you will forgive them for their forwardness when I unfold to you the grave matter which first brought them here. And into the war, you say? Hmm, I trust you, Kani Sena. The light of peace shines brightly within your soul. But I'm afraid the same cannot be said for one of your friends. To be plain, we did not hide ourselves because they were the first of your kind to be seen here. Well, not only because of that. We hid because we smelled dragon blood. The skies are home to many dragons. While some crave peace, such as Hresvelger, many others crave the opposite, such as Didhog. Suffice to say, we are worried that the presence of your blood-spattered warrior friends will attract the attention of the nastier kind and invite into destruction into our home. Now, just a moment, Chieftain. Bex here may have doled out the odd thrashing or two, but it's always been for a good reason. <laughs> yes. Yeah, murder. Money. I am. Oh, wait. You have never mind. They are a champion of the Twelveswood Moogles, and I'll not hear their good name slandered. Now, now, Ambassador, let's not ruffle each other's furs. I shall, of course, take your testimony into consideration. Yeah, we killed their king. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the good King Mogglemog. Who, who held a rope for you all. <laughs> oh, everybody remembers the good dead King Mogglemog. <laughs> oh, rusty merry gentlemen. <laughs> Excellent suggestion, Kupo. In the interest of fostering friendship and keeping an eye on you, I extend to you the hospitality of Mogholm. Prove yourselves worthy of our assistance, and it will be yours. I shall be watching. Do a bunch of fetch quests for us. Yeah! <laughs> if you were joking, that's actually what they're doing. I, 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 I was making a joke which was rooted in the truth, because that's always what happens. Yep. I'm going to have to ask you to grab this one next to me. Because um, uh, I grabbed it thinking I can grab all of them at once, and it turns out, no, you have to do them uh, one at a time. Well, i got to figure out who i got to talk to. to. Oh, it's Moglin yeah, first. Yeah, Moglin first. They're too far away. Oh, there we go. Tell me, in the world down below, do all of your kind look so different from one another? It must be terribly disconcerting. <laughs> what was it Kuplo called you again? Bex. <laughs> your names are as odd as your appearance. As are Moghan, Mogmug, and Mogwin. These being the names of the three wise Moogles who will administer the momentous challenges that I have devised to measure your worth. I call them the Trials of Trustworthiness. Did you hear that? Undertake these trials and we shall soon see whether or not you are worthy of our aid. Why do I feel like I'm talking to the Deco Tree and... Whoops. 
forgot to click the thing, and now I have to listen to this again. Sometimes I wish that I'd name my character or something stupid, like Moglu or something, to so go, Moglu, huh, such a stupid name, and then the one next to is like, uh, s sir, shut up. <laughs> so you talked to Moghan. Yeah. Hello, I grabbed... yes, I am Moghan, the foremost alchemist in Mogholm, if you must know. If your tummy's gloopy or your wings droopy, I have a potion to fix that. Or, uh, I would if I didn't keep running out of ingredients. Luckily, you're here to do the chore, uh, trial. Go forth, mighty adventurer, and, mighty, and mightily pluck three sprigs of cloud's breath for me. I like how these fetch quests are all like, yeah, could you uh, do this? Because I don't want to go shop. Oh, I mean, uh, it's like, it's going to be difficult, yes, to test your strength. <laughs> go to the fucking store. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we need something. Why did I just get 54,000 experience? Did we share those? No. All right, you, you, still need to, you still need two more? Or three more? Yeah. Damn. Two more. Okay. Oh, wait, you did share it? No, I just was able to pick it as well. Unless that's what you meant by share. That is what I meant. Okay. That would be real shitty if we each had to find three separate sprigs. That happens on some quests. Well, it's a big problem in WoW. Not too often here, though. No, the problem here is that they give you a million side quests, but they don't give you any significant okay. experience or anything to... We left the circle. <laughs> give you direction. any reason to actually do them. Do you just have a hot bar full of your mounts or something yep well it's, on, it's only four buttons i've got the car this one and then i've got uh fenrir and uh something called gabriel wait gabriel no 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 fenrir no no, no. um i i can see the other two quests on there or did you try and talk to them and they said do the other trial first they're red for me. Oh, maybe because you are doing this in New Game Plus, they're making you do them all one at a time? Maybe? Hmm, yes, you have the pleasure of speaking with Mogmug. I know, I know. I am the fluffiest, most enchanting creature you've ever laid eyes upon. It isn't easy being this adorable. I can barely take a stroll outside without those relentless Dravanians throwing themselves at me. Why, they look as if they might just gobble me right up. In any case, fleeing over the fleeing their overbearing adultation is growing a bit tiresome. Your trial, madam, is this: find these ardent archaeosaurs and slap some manners into them. I I can, I can stand up for Moogle harassment. Yeah, that seems a fair one. Unlike this one, where I just had to go and pick some fucking flowers. Your car actually blended in with the ramp, and I didn't know where you went. <laughs> like, Steve! Steve! The invisible car. This fight's gonna be quick. Oh, yeah.
I'm sorry, did you even do anything? I I I, I auto attacked it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I only take like fifty percent of their HP with an auto attack, it's fine. I just I mean I know I'm over leveled now because I bought extra levels, but Yeah. I was surprised that they fell that quickly with you not unless you'd also attacked and you didn't really, I guess. You were able to humble my Dravanian devotees. Wonderful. Can't say it was hard. Must. Fuck. Moogles. What? <laughs> Next wants to talk to Mo uh, talk to the Moogles. Mogwin's the name, and art is my game. When it comes to painting, there are none in Mogholm who can match my talent. I know why you've come. Ah, oh, yes, of course. Magomo. Mogwin is missing his masterpiece. Oh, you mean that paint-smeared mess of a pebble? Not seen it. Fact for which my eyes are profoundly grateful. <laughs> Moogles are funny. Maestro Mogwin has misplaced his masterpiece. Oh, happy day. Wow. They're mean. Shh. Easy. Mogto. Say it. Ooh. Say it. What? Are you trying to get uh, your cat to speak? Maybe. She's purring at me instead. Go ahead. <laughs> I don't know how much I don't know much about this stone, but I do know Mogwin's been creeping out the back way to Somal's summit for the for from time to time. Maybe they left it up there. Oh wait. I left without you. How? Could you? Well, did you find it? Ah, yes. Now that you mention I do seem to recall leaving my pebble out in the sun to dry. The second part of the trial commences. Go retrieve my masterpiece. What? Apparently I wasn't in range to get in. I Wow, there's a lot of Moogles. Can we just jump in? I mean, we can. Geronimo! Geronimo! Do you have it? No. I think I'll keep it for myself. I call it Contemplations of Zenith. Thank you. At last, I can exchange my art for the delectable Koopo Nuts. Oh, no. Mmm, Koopo Nuts. <laughs> oh. Shit. Stop auto-running. <laughs> Error. Bex, if that is what you insist on calling yourself. Well, I think it costs money to change it, so yeah, I guess I guess that's what we're going with. Someone who has changed the name, it does. 
You've completed the trials of trustworthiness administered by the taskmasters Morgan, Mogmug, and Mogwin. During these grueling tests of character, I closely observed your conduct as well as your companions. I have decided. Gather your friends before me now so that I need not repeat myself needlessly. Where is everybody? Are these trials over? My tasks have been a little more than household chores. If our host elects not to grant their aid after working us like chocobos, I shall demand compensation. He sounds like such a brat. <laughs> You're trying to save the world, Alphano. Just, just... Like, unless they ask you to move their pool table, like, I'm pretty sure you're fine. <laughs> we need help moving a couch. Pivot! <laughs> Pivot! How go your trials, warriors of light? I myself have been sent on a number of expeditions to chastise the local dragon population. Did not their chieftain wish to avoid inflaming the Dravanians? Yeah... Yeah, they did want to not do that. <clears throat> Standing here in Mogholm, my thoughts turn inevitably to the legend of good King Mogul Mog the Twelfth and his seat in the heavens. Ah, oh, sick bunny hops! And uh, have you ever googled the uh, Ross Geller and then clicked the couch? No, but I will do it now. You mean on images? No, on the right-hand side of Google, it should just be sitting right there. So when you type in Ross Geller, it should have a picture of it, and then like, Ross Geller, fictional character, and then have a picture of it. Oh, a couch. there's a couch. Have it. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> okay, I don't think it's going to pivot anymore. Oh my god, the couch broke. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. What's the other one? Um, well, I mean, there's a lot, but there was one that I, I actually did recently that I forgot about. Is it, I think it's, yeah, if you type in ag anagram, and it goes, did you mean Nagaram? That one's good. Become such friends. My Moogle cousins love to sing and dance as much as I do. Chieftain Moglin has finally come to a decision, has he? Well, I suppose I'd better flutter over there and see. What sorcery is this? That my heart should stir at mere fluffiness. <laughs> oh, wow. you sail. The volume on that is really loud. Oh, but there's one for every friend's character. Rachel's, is, Rachel's and Monica's aren't that good, but uh, I like Chandler's and Phoebe's. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I, I was... My brain was thinking, what would Monica's be before I typed it in? And my thoughts went to the the number scene where they're doing like the, the like, um, my brain is just fried at this point. The intensity of how well the lovemaking is going. Three, four, three, oh, yeah. four, five, seven, seven. <laughs> That's what I was expecting. See, Joey's I wish was the turkey, but it sadly is not. Is that a turkey? It's Joey! <laughs> Wait, Rachel's is just going to her haircut? <laughs> it just goes to her haircut. <laughs> Joey does a shampoo! <laughs> 
I mean, the Joey one's not bad. <laughs> I wish it was the turkey. Smelly cat, smelly cat, <laughs> what are they feeding you? Smelly when did these cat, get put in? I have no idea. I know oh, they've they're been duck in the chick. Yeah, that's why I like Chandler. Okay, so it's just the six of them that have one. Yeah. I like how they were like they probably got all of the others and went, all right, all right, what are we gonna give Rachel? And they were like, oh fuck. Um, <laughs> should we give her a credit card being declined noise? No. Um. Can we give her a coffee cup? No. Pictures of her hair? Pictures of her hair. They could have done her singing Sir mix -a -Lot, Baby Got Back. They probably would have need the license for that one, though. Yeah, Rachel's just not that great of a character, so... <laughs> I mean... Like, I, I always, like, ranked Ross as, like, one of the worst characters in the show, but he has some of the best lines. Like, the most my sandwich! My, <laughs> the my sandwich part. Someone removed the laugh track and all the music from that scene, and it truly looks like a, like, psychopath going insane. <laughs> yeah. You threw yeah, away my away. sandwich. <laughs> uh, I actually quite enjoy watching clips of that on YouTube of, of those classic sitcoms with laugh tracks being removed from them. Yeah. It's just so awkward. <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, there are definitely moments where in a conversation you would have a natural pause. It happens to us on stream. It happens yeah. in real life. But not to that extent. Yeah, they pause for the laugh track, which is uh, just terrible sometimes. It's truly, it's why I like The Office and Parks and Rec and more of those docu- uh, no, what is it called? Mockumentary style shows that don't have that live studio audience because it's more natural. Yeah, well, it's like even other shows, like Community doesn't have a laugh track and it works. Yeah, Community's another good example. Uh, that one's just a flat, like, comedy show. Like, they've definitely tried to work away from it. It's honestly, some of the, like, they're not funny gags, but it's almost like amusing how often because they'll bring up the laugh track joke on family guy like every three or four episodes where stewie or brian or, Fa or peter will say something and then the laugh track will start and they'll just look incredibly awkward for like 10 to 15 seconds as the laugh track goes on and i was like yeah. thank you for doing every memory of every 90s sitcom because <laughs> that's exactly how it is you just don't think about it yep and big bang theory that's exactly how big bang theory was Except yeah. the joke isn't that funny in Big Bang Theory. Yeah, I'm so I'm so disappointed in my younger self for that. Not not because I watch Big Bang Theory, because I mean I enjoyed it. I just treated myself like a pompous twat who was smart enough to understand the humor in it when it's not highbrow or high intelligence humor in the slightest. It's just dick jokes with higher ver vocabulary <laughs> pretty much so never have i seen such determined workers it would never have taken a, it would taken us moons to complete all those dreary chores and niggling errands and have our labors proven the purity of our intentions chieftain no get out 
without a doubt. In fact, there was never really all that much to doubt to begin with. You were just already friends with the fellow Moogle. But you see, before any meeting with Hresvelger could take place, certain preparations needed to be made. And what better way to help you pass the time than by having you perform all those tiresome tasks that no one ever wants to do. The game's even making fun of its fetch quests. Yep. It knows what it did. Oh dear, the horn! Bring out the horn quickly now! We blow on this wondrous instrument whenever we wish to speak with the great worm. That's it. We we haven't been. Oh, sorry. What? It's the teeny tiny trumpet. <laughs> We haven't perhaps been treating it with the care it deserves of late, so we needed some time to clean and polish it. And straighten it? What? <laughs> what did they do? Drop it? No lasting harm done, though. Simply head to the zenith and give the horn a good toot. We are in your debt, chieftain. Thanks for your noble gift. We shall finally have a chance to plead our case to Hresvelger. Very possibly, yes, but I wouldn't get my hopes up too high. The old worm isn't terribly fond of, um... Your concern is appreciated, but I am quite certain that Hresvelger will come o welcome our overtures. Should we ever arrive at his lair? Come, we have squandered enough time. I feel like Ysail and Estinian are going to come to fists soon. <laughs> Chieftain Moglin, we thank you for your gracious hospitality. Though we must soon take our leave, I pray that we may continue to nurture the shoots of our new-sprung friendship twixt earth and sky. Now you just need to find the Moogles of the sea. And I guess fire. Of course, visit us whenever you wish. Are you picturing a fire moogle? Picturing the last air moogle and then just <laughs> Fire Koopo! Wind Koopo <laughs> I love it. If I ever get a lot of money out of this, I will commission someone to make an animated I mean heck they made Avatar Studios, so I'll just I'll just email them every day, Square Enix <laughs> and Avatar it. Studios. Dear Hero Nobu and whoever created Avatar, you need to collaborate and make Avakupo, the last air moogle. understand oh, that this is not a request. I will be attending this letter every day until you can accomplish it. <laughs> this is not a request. This is a demand. Thanks for the help. I doubt I would ever have found all those rotten chores. Hey, it wasn't my idea. It was the chieftain. If they'd spent a little less time sitting about, a little more time chieftaining, things would have gotten so, or never would have gotten so messy in the first place. But now that all those errands are done, all's well that ends well, right? Yeah, I guess so. Hmm. <sighs> Seems like a oh you've changed out of your Hawaiian sh oh nope never mind back into it. No, oh, don't play the horn here. Seems like a good place to call it for today. 
Oh, I was muted. Yeah, you were muted. 